Hello beautiful people, it's your girl the alien cat and today we're going to teach you guys how to breed any kind of pal your heart desires. <laughs> um, in order to uh, do this uh, process, it does take a little while, it, it takes a fair amount of uh, a preparation also. Um, so first things first, you're going to want to build yourself a breeding farm which you can unlock at level 19 and in order to build it you just need some wood stone and fiber not a very hard build but before then um you're going to want to have a few things uh prepped before you build uh the breeding farm it's just going to make your life a lot easier you are going to want to unlock the cooking pot which you can unlock at level uh, 17 then you're going to want to unlock the wheat plantation and the mill which you can get at level if, 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 if 15 you are going to want a cooler box as well, which you can unlock a level th th 13. And you're going to want to make sure that you have the berry plantation and also the ranch unlocked, uh, which you can unlock them at level 5. Also, a thing I forgot to mention is that another thing that you will need to unlock for the breeding process is the egg incubator, which you can unlock at level uh, 7 and it's part of the ancient tech. Meaning that in order to unlock it, you will need to defeat uh, a few of the alphas that are on the map. Because in order to make it, you'll need the Paldium fragments, you'll need some cloth stone and ancient uh, civilization parts. In order to get these parts, you're going to have to defeat some of the alphas. So basically, once you have all of those unlocked, you can uh, begin the breeding uh, pr process. And I already chose the pals that I want to breed. I have the Beacon and the Mossanda. Uh, these two uh, can breed the Reptyro, which I really, really, really want. And other uh, pals can also breed them. So it doesn't, it, so it's not ex ex exclusive to Mossanda and Beacon. I actually have a, a website that I use to kind of help me out with the breeding guide. I will link that in the uh, description box. So once you have everything, what you're gonna do is I recommend uh, before before we actually get into it I recommend you actually build yourself two cookie pots one so that one for cakes so that so that you can have them all ready and one so that you can continue to cook foods as you know you normally do in the game the reason why I like to have one cooking pot for a cakes is so that um, I can just keep them in the co cooking pot and they will not spoil over time yes you can get the cooler and that will uh, slow uh, slow uh, slow down the spoil rate but i just think it's easier for me personally to just have them here so what exactly do we need in order to make cakes so you need a few things flour red berries milk egg and honey there are a few ways to get these types of ingredients and what needs to be taken under uh, consideration also is that everything on the list excluding honey has a spoil time meaning that they will start to decay over time so when you start the breeding process you need to be on it uh, to make sure that you have everything that you need and that they will not spoil over time or just to make sure that you have a lot of it I will deal with the spray and we'll continue with, with, with the tutorial. Everything on the list uh, has a spoil time except for honey. And I will tell you guys also how to get each and every one of them. Uh, we will start with the flour. So, in order to make uh, flour, you basically need wheat. And um, this is why you need to also unlock the wheat plantation uh, before you start this uh, process. Or even if you haven't... Uh, 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 up until now you'll, you'll want to uh, unlock it now and uh the same goes for the berries as well uh you're going to want to uh, plant uh berry seeds and also uh the wheat ones uh the berry seeds are very easy to get um their shrubs are basically in most of this area they're very common in other areas too i just know that because everybody starts off here they're very easy to collect and you're going to want to make sure that you assign pals that can water, plant, harvest, and transport everything that you are growing in these um, fields, I guess you can call them. Now, once you have the berries and the wheat, um, you don't have to do much with the red berries. They're already ready uh, to be used. But once you have the wheat, you're going to have to turn that into flour. The way to do so 
is that you make the mill and you will be able to make the flower from here and you're going to want to assign a, a watering pal to do so um, in order to create the flower. Um, as you can see, I have um, a fair amount of flower here, which I'm, gonna, I'm personally going to keep it there because I just like to have that bit extra that I can just qu quickly grab if I need more. But that is the main idea. So we've talked about how you can get uh, berry seeds, but how can you get wheat seeds? There are a couple ways uh, to go about it. One way is that you can go to a wandering merchant and you can actually buy uh, the wheat seeds. Uh, they're only a 100 gold each. And what's nice is that this uh, trader also has the other uh, ingredients that you also need in order to make the uh, cake. So if you're low on anything and you really want um, the stuff now and you have a fair amount of coins you can always come to um, this merchant which is in the uh, small uh, 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 settlement and you can get interest of the eggs and the milk and the berries the only things you can't get here are are the honey um, but this is a a great start if you can't find um, any other wheat seeds so you can always just buy a few here and then your pals will do the rest as i said you can trade with the merchant here in the small is is element and another way that you can also get wheat seeds is that some chests that you open will have these seeds in them and some uh, pals will also drop wheat seeds when you catch or uh, defeat them such as dinosum and and also brist bristola bristola i don't know how you actually pronounce it but i think it's bristola i don't know <laughs> and also it's just a little bonus uh it's not necessary i mean i have this unlocked but i don't use it yet i might b build it at some point you can also unlock the silo at level tw uh, 25 uh which which can help with uh, planting and and everything Right, so we've talked about flour, we've talked about red berries, now we're going to talk about milk. So how do you get milk? There's one pal that drops milk, and that is the cute mozzarina, which is basically the cow pal, as you can see here. They're not too common. You can find them around, hold on, I think it was around uh, this area is where you can find them. I also have a, a link actually to a website where you can... Uh, track down a uh, spawn lo lo location of pals. I will link it in the description box. So in order to gain the milk, you can either uh, defeat the uh, cow pal or you can c capture it. I recommend you uh, ca uh, try to catch it. One, they're not that common. And two, it's just a lot easier to try to catch them so that you can have a constant uh, uh, supply of milk. Same idea goes for uh, the uh, chickens, which lay eggs. And th these guys, at least, are very common throughout just this whole area. And just in general, th they are very, very easy to, to find. Uh, they are some of the, some of the first appals that you encounter. But if you do find yourself uh, kind of low on uh, ch chickpeas, you can always uh, transport over to the plateau of uh, beginnings and you'll find them pretty much as straight away here you can also find red berry seeds as well and they really are some of the easiest uh, pals to catch and I accidentally killed it but they do drop an egg uh yeah. let's just uh, catch it <laughs> catching this one instead of trying to to kill it by accident <laughs> there you go you have more eggs all right, so we have gone through how to make flour, how to get red berries, how to get milk and eggs. Now let's go for the last ingredient that, that you'll need, and that is honey. Honey is going to be the harder uh, ingredient to try and get. Um, while you uh, may be able to find it uh, through wandering merchants that you can trade with, um, trying to uh, catch a pal that makes honey is not an easy thing. I would actually like uh, to point out that you can also get honey by trying to capture and and or defeating a in a moth, um, but they cannot uh, produce honey like the bee guard can. Right. Uh, here are some bee guards, and this is where it becomes uh, dangerous because if they get too close to you, they will. Um, 
turn into a ticking time bomb, so you want to keep your distance. Oop. Okay. <laughs> and try not to get them killed along the way. But they do, they do drop honey. And there are some more beast guards over here we can take care of. Yee! Ah, no! <laughs> well, uh, that was a bust. <laughs> we accidentally killed them all <laughs> instead of trying to catch one. But uh, that is the main idea, though, is that you want to try to catch one. Uh, preferably have better spears. Uh, I just ran out of my uh, Giga Spears. The point is that once you have your Bigar, once you have your Ma Mazarina, once you have your Chikipi, uh, you're going to want to place them all in the ranch so that they can uh, start to produce all of the things that that actual need, which are uh, eggs, milk, and honey. And like we said before, honey does not expire, which is great and makes things a lot easier. So we have the flour, we have the red berries, we got the milk, eggs, and the honey. Let's make some cake. I'm gonna make uh, the max amount that I can make. It's only five, but that's all right. And for this process, you're gonna to want to use a pal that has a very, very high kindling. I think this one has three or four, three. Um, I do have one that, that is four, actually. Let me bring him out instead. I think, uh, yeah, this one has four. Let's bring him out instead. Uh, so the reason why you want to use a pal uh, that has the highest kindling that you have on your base is because the process itself takes a really long time. It takes a while to make a, a, a cake. Now it's not t taking as long, but say you have a pal that is a level 1 kindling, it'll take a really, really long time. Alrighty, you have your cakes. You have the pals that you want to use in order uh, to breed. I'm I, Once again, I'm using the Mosanda and the Beacon to make it the uh, Reptyro. So after you have the cakes, we're just going to place them in here, in this uh, chest, and they will produce eggs, uh, just like this. And here you can also see the timer, how long it'll take for them to make the ne next egg. So this is essentially the way it works. For every cake, you'll have one egg. So if you have 10 cakes, you'll be, you'll be able to make uh, 10 eggs. So once you have the egg, we're going to place it in the egg incubator. And that is how you breed in Power World. Thank you all so much for tuning on in. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this episode and found it informative, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. If you would like me to make a tutorial about something specific or if you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave a comment about it down below. Until next time.